welcome to Any Strike, The Edge. I'm your host, Scott Holbrook. Beside me, on the right, I've got Mr. Noad Lahat. On my left, I've got Adam Paul Smolak, the fighter and the entrepreneur. Guys, i got a question for both of you. I'm really interested to see if you give the same type of answer even. Uh, you know, my question is, you guys are, you know, true warriors. Um, you, you fight a lot of a lot of battles, a lot of fights. Um, no, I, let's start with you. Who, who or what is your greatest opponent? Uh, that's an interesting question. Um, that we're talking about opponent is an obstacle. Or opponent is a is a person. <laughs> Hey, you pick, man. We're gonna run ask the same thing to Mister uh, Mister Smolik over here, and and I, I'm interested. Like, I mean, you know, people think you know, warrior as as a, as a physical sort of thing. You know, we're you know, we're changing that mold uh, with the edge here, showing yeah. that it's just as much mental. And you know, there are opponents of all sorts, right? And so, how you know, how do you think of opponents? What what's the I know. I think I, I used to train with many guys that were tougher than than most of the guys I fought. So you know, to face them on a daily basis was was pretty intimidating you know going to against someone on a on every day when you know he's uh he's uh you know a veteran heavier you know <laughs> and i knew the guy that that's supposed to go in and get beat up so <laughs> yeah so <laughs> i've been through a few camps like that sure so so then so then your greatest opponent is is showing up, <laughs> knowing that you're the you're the fodder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All yeah, right. but you know, like a lot of times, even even weight cuts and stuff like that, like that, you stack a few pounds over and you feel like you're gonna die, but you still need to cut those few pounds that left. That those, the way you know, sometimes it's it's the way to the fight is tougher than the fight itself by by much. Mm usually right adam paul your greatest I'm gonna, opponent i'm gonna take a different path here um i'll answer it both ways uh the greatest style of opponent that i think um presents uh the greatest amount of difficulty is a smaller opponent and by that, I mean someone either uh, from an entrepreneurial sense or a business sense, someone that doesn't have anything to lose, that doesn't care what happens to them. That's someone that's difficult to beat because you have and, and, and can never um, get leverage. Um, you know, if... if um, you're loaning money to someone, for example, and they don't care about their reputation. It prevents a problem in getting that money back. So when you look at fighting, I think it's a, a smaller opponent prevents a lot of difficulty. Um, you know, obviously a, a, a longer opponent's rangy but a smaller opponent, um, you know, usually has a lot of balance and a lot of speed is associated with it. And, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of, uh, in my opinion, uh, usually a smaller opponent relies on their wits. Um, so in both senses, from entrepreneurial and from physical fighting, I think someone that's smaller presents a tough uh, uh, proposition. When it comes to my greatest fight ever, I think would have to be, um, you know, against uh, uh, the Chinese government in, in, in Nanjing, China, where uh, I had a property dispute and that currently sits in uh, 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 Beijing for the Supreme Court. I went through the, the local and the city Nanjing court into the Jiangsu court. Um, so that that's difficult because that opponent had endless resources and that opponent you know controls a lot of a lot of the, the opposite of a small opponent right so either so a small that, opponent or a large opponent 
Right. And there you go. And so that was what I was talking about. Someone that's rangy. Uh, with un- win. with un- <laughs> resources, uh, you know, the highest equipment uh, and a lot of steroids, uh, <laughs> you know, and that and designer. Drugs. You can't win. It's only how big you're going to lose. So, so, so sometimes against your, uh, you know, the smallest and the largest opponents, they provide the most amount of difficulty. That would be my answer to you, Scott. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thank you both. A bit of a different question. Uh, it's kind of want to give the viewers, you know, more of a of an insight into you know, how you guys think about various topics. Uh, thanks again, Noah, Adam, Paul. Uh, your insights are always greatly appreciated. And uh, we'll see you both again next time on Any Strike the Edge.